Sometimes we have really big projects with a lot of tracks and a lot of plugins going on or a lot of complicated audio processing or something like complex reverbs and so on and they all put a strong load on our processors and the RAM and the disk cache or everything that the computer has to work for and that slows down your computer or even makes it impossible to listen to the music or you get dropouts and that is annoying. If you want to save your computer from working a lot then there's a few tricks you can apply and I want to share some of these right now. I just opened a empty project and put in some tracks, not a lot, but I also used some plugins and I already can see that my laptop has to work with these few tracks. So if I go into my mixer, then I already have activated my audio performance and I can see the average load, the maximum load and the disk cache here in my upper window of the mix console and I also want to activate my channel latency because well this this does not go one to one but I think if you use plugins that cause a lot of channel latency then it's pretty safe to say that these will also cause some heavy load for your CPU or maybe your RAM or anything that your computer has to work for and that might cause the dropouts I was talking about. And you see I, I don't have a lot of tracks and I also I did not use a lot of plugins but the load for my computer is not that tiny even though my computer is quite strong you will see that these few effects that i put in here are already stressing my laptop so and some things that i wanted to show is for example if i bypass the effect then you can already see there is not a lot of ha happening so bypassing will reduce the load a little bit but actually not very much but what you can do is if you hold down alt or option then you can see already here that the button changes from its bypass look to the on and off switch so if I open my effect then you can see that is the bypassing and that does not change a lot but switching off the effect you can see immediately changes the channel latency a lot and that you can already do here in your mixer view or here in your inserts if you hold down alt or option and hover over the bypass button then you can switch off the effect and that also reduces the stress on your computer. Another thing you can do to switch off and reduce the load of your laptop is you can switch off tracks. So what I sometimes do is I duplicate a track for comparing reasons and then this track that produces a lot of load here for my computer is here twice and then it's there three times and when you have a big project with a lot of tracks this might cause your computer to collapse so sometimes what I do is I switch off the tracks that I don't need anymore or at least I don't need right now and you can do so by right clicking on your track and you go to switch off track 
and that completely reduces the load for your computer that this track produced before. If you want to use a lot of effects and complicated ones especially, then it's probably a good idea not to use them here in the inserts, but as a direct offline plugin. What that means is you have a special window which you can open by pressing F7 and that is for the direct offline processing. And here you will find all your plugins and also the audio processes and you can apply these to this clip. So if you do have a long track with different clips, then you can also apply this effect only to that one clip. But of course, you could also apply it to several clips at the same time. And then you will see it here that it has more than one event selected. Otherwise, it will show name of that one event that you selected. And now you can just apply the process here and you can pre-listen it and you can also say for how long this effect should last before or after the clip. And you can, for example, use the auto apply button and there's several things you can do in, the, in this window. But the one thing I wanted to say is this immediately like renders your effect into the clip. So that means you would go to any process or plugin that normally causes a lot of stress for your computer. You use all the things that you want to use and then you just say do that and it will be automatically applied to your event. And the good thing about it is that afterwards it will not stress your CPU anymore. So it will be rendered and it is now in your audio file implemented and the effect is kind of switched off then. But if you want to, you could still go back. The only disadvantage you have is you have to go back to this offline processing window and apply your changes here and then render it again into your audio file. And that is like some kind of disadvantage because you cannot find the effect like you would have normally would have here for example in your inserts or your sends you have to go to that special window and it is right now only applied to that event and not the whole track but the advantage is there will not be any stress for your computer RAM or CPU. One more thing that you can do with your direct offline processing is also kind of interesting because sometimes I start working and then afterwards I realize oh right now my computer starts to slow down because of that many processes and then I want to use the direct offlines afterwards but I also already have produced an effect chain in my track that I like and I don't want to use other effects now. I want to use exactly these effects in that order and with the settings that I already applied. And I don't want to start over again doing everything here. 
then you can just drag the effects from your mixer to direct offline processing that saves a lot of work you can do so by just dragging them one by one or if you like like i said if you want to use that whole effect chain then just go on top of your inserts and your mouse changes to the hand so and if you then take it and drag it here then it will apply the whole effect chain to this event that you have selected another thing you can do is of course to render your audio file completely with the effects and then like i did before switch that track off for example let's say we have here a lot of complicated effects going on and we put a lot of plugins here and they are quite cpu heavy then it would be interesting for us to say well how about we just render my whole effect chain into the event and that you can do by going to render in place and you can either change your render settings or use the settings that you used the last time and if you now say render this file then it will create a new audio track for you render all the effects into your audio material or virtual instrument or create a audio track out of a MIDI file then you have your new audio track and you can switch off the old one and on your new track you will depending on your settings you will not have the effects anymore but the effects are now rendered into your audio file and that means that you reduce the load for your computer and the last thing i want to show is if you for example have a very cpu heavy plugin like a virtual instrument and you did use a lot of complicated effects for it then you can also use another version of this kind of render in place process but it will not create a new track it will be something like a mixture of the render in place and the direct offline processing and that means it will render this track that you have into a file but not into a existing file just a file that the computer can work with without having to always to compute all the things that you did on the track and what i mean is you can use this freezing function and the freezing function if you click it lets you decide if you want to only freeze your instrument or uh, the instrument and the channel itself and if you wanna like unload all the instruments from your computer load that means they kind of get switched off and won't stress your computer anymore so if you say do that it will completely compute that whole track and you now see it gets a locked file and i can only do basic things so like changing the volume or the panorama or something like that but what i cannot do is open the track again and make changes to my notes or something like that so this file is now rendered or frozen and it won't be stressing my computer anymore you see it is kind of grayed out everything here and the latency completely dropped to zero 
I hope you found these tips helpful. If so, check out some of my other videos or leave a thumbs up. Take care, guys.